Hello everyone, this is Ibrahim and we're still doing the Learn Flutter videos. So in the last video we had this carousel effect where you uh, get to flip and you see the, uh, the result immediately on, on the screen. So today I'll just be adding a bit of styling. Oh, you know what, let me do that on my own and just uh, walk you through it. Just speed up the process and try to do the list of use today. So here's what I've done so far. I've added the uh, container. So I added a container right here, the uh, top left, with an alignment top left and a bit of padding. Uh, I added this text here, and I added this text here in another container. As you can see, there's this container here you can donate to. And I've also just uh, styled, added a bit of padding to these uh, characters as they are displayed. Uh, you notice that the, the, uh, the general theme... Before I continue, the general theme is supposed to be red, the primary swatch. But notice that the body color applied to the text theme is green, hence this color here. So I just need to change this to maybe red to conform with whatever the um, the general styling is. And that's what we've got. So for the body 2 that's dark and for the body 1 that's light, so everything has changed accordingly. So that's that. The next thing we need to do is um, I probably need to add a bit of, I know this wasn't included in the design. So if you take a look, so this is what we initially sketched, but of course we can play around with it. So this can easily be achieved using something called the stack widget. And we can stack these components on top of each other. That's normal. But for the sake of simplicity, uh, not now. So in the sake of simplicity, we can just go on with what we have, and then we can just finalize things as later. We just want to get the functionality up and running with the most uh, optimum design, and then we can revisit whatever we need to revisit. Anyway, so that's that. So we need to add this button right here. So that's something I think we already know how to do. It's a raised button. So uh, let's go back here, and we could add... So these are the set of widgets. Uh, before the set of widgets end... We want to, so we have this container, and then we have these lists of, then we can add them here, right here, just before the end of the widget. So we can add raised button, and then we take this text in a child. Now uh, let's give it a text of um, continue. I think that's a good enough uh, uh, continue, and then we could give it a color of um, color of theme of context, and then we could give it like the primary primary color like so. So what is the problem? Is we need to add a comma right there. Let me reformat this. So we have a we can give it a text and a color, and then we can have the unpressed event later on as we learn how to actually implement the navigation to the next screen. So as we save, we get to see this button right here. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Okay, so that's that. We can add an app bar right on top. Uh, the app bar will probably give us the... Um, okay, so we have the body in the scaffold. We can add an app bar here, app bar, and then we could add an app bar like so. We give it a uh, title. And the title it takes in text widget, and then we could call this maybe um, select blood type, select blood type. I think that's good enough. And uh, the good thing is we can actually specify a few actions on the app bar, like as in navigate to another screen, like show icons, whatever. Like, uh, but we can just. I think this is satisfactory for now. If we do a save. That's select the blood screen, choose your blood group. I think that's pretty redundant to have this right here so we can get rid of it. We can have this container out of the way. Or, you know, we can highlight it or we can redo it later on. It doesn't really matter. So there we have it. So let's see how this looks like. It's not bad. Now what we can do is play around with the carousal. And, um, yeah, I think I think what, what we have now is pretty nice. We can add a... A bit of a small error here, and then we save it. We can we can minimize the margins we got here on the uh, carousel builder. 
So where is the cut? Yeah, it's right here. So the mar margins here can be changed to say, I don't know, 15 is pretty good. And uh, I think this uh, that's a better effect. I don't know. Seems like it. Anyway, so we have now this problem. Now this is where we can adopt something called single page scroll. Or sorry, uh, the single um, single page single child scroll view. So um, the single child scroll view basically creates this. Um, uh, so instead of you having this issue where the elements are limited in size, of the screen, the scroll page view kind of creates the scroll effect. Generally, all of these scrolling uh, widgets that are in Flutter adopt something called the sliver protocol. So the whatever you see, so whatever element you see on the screen is only rendered upon visibility. So um, I think we can explain more about that in the list views, but we can just simply. So this is so this is the set of so this is what we have here. We have this full container, and we can just wrap. The easiest solution is to wrap this container with another widget called the single child single child scroll view as the name suggests the single uh, child uh, scroll view takes in a single child uh, which is uh, well, the container and the rest of the elements now let me save this and see this the error has gone and we've got this scroll effect in here too and that's what this scroll view basically does it just gets gives you this scroll effect and renders the elements that are not uh, gives room uh, for the system to render the elements that are not yet yeah, visible on the screen. So that's uh, I think we're done with this uh, screen. I think I'm pretty satisfied with how it looks like so far. So uh, we can go on to the next screen. So what we currently have, and of course you can get have you can have this effect here instead of us having a column. You can have them done in rows, but it really doesn't matter now. We can add to the size. Uh, you can also change the size of the font right here. We have it as a 48. You can go as a higher. You can go higher, and you can also have a bold uh, style. Apologies about that, I had some interruptions, but I'm back at it again. So, we have the font size, and we can play around with the uh, font weight also. You can go uh, font uh, weight. So, font weight, this gives us the uh, font weight dot bold. So, we have the font weight is 48, we can make this 58. And there we have it. You can just play around with the font, it's not really a problem. And uh, yeah, you know what, let's go 68. And there we have it. Uh, so we can, uh, I think I'm satisfied with this, so we can end this video right here. And we can implement the other uh, parts of the screens on the next video. Okay, I could also implement the uh, what we have implemented in the previous set of screens. Well, we have the bottom uh, the bottom sheet and then you can have this button in the bottom sheet instead of it being in the body of the of the uh, scaffold that we currently have here we have the uh, up bar and the body and then we could also implement uh, so this is where the air scroll view ends and then the scaffold before the scaffold ends we could have a, a bottom sheet and in the bottom sheet we can simply implement just move the button to that bottom sheet just like we've done in the previous videos so we can just have this the raised button move in right there without even having a container just to see it and then you can edit it the way however you like if we try to save we get to see this right here and then it's just a matter of editing and just playing around like we could add just simply a uh, uh, we could center this like so and then save it again we do need the size if you do if you do recall it here we had the height here if we try to center and align we need to have the uh, the height uh, associated with the implementation uh, we could change this to container and then we could have the height of this one be say 60 60 is pretty good if you do ask me and then we have it and then it's just a matter of aligning this so alignment dot bottom center is pretty good for me and there we have it a nice effect a nice pretty effect so no matter where we have the scrolling here the button will always persist 
So whatever you select, there is this continue here. I think this is it for this video. Let's see you in the next one where we get to actually implement the list of you next. So in the next set of, so in the next video, we'll actually be implementing this. So this would be a list of cards, a list of view of cards, and then we get to see how the list of you actually works. And then we will just play around with the, how this actually, we can actually get this done, the progress circle, progress part like so. Okay, so this is it for this video. See you in the next one. Have a good one.